Yo, welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about the five steps for effortless speech. Because you know when you are by yourself, you can talk effortlessly. You can talk freely. Your default is just you. It's just authentic. It's just pure freedom. Same thing with if you're alone in a room with your dog or your cat. It's just pure freedom. So how to translate that into real life interactions, into talking with people, with strangers, with friends, with family, with coworkers, with girls that you like, with guys that you like, how to translate that over. These five principles will outline and show what the difference is, what the difference is between me by myself and me talking to a human being and what stands in the way of that effortlessness, all right? So before we get this going, my name is Chis Gillis. I help people overcome stuttering the authentic way without speech techniques, no fluency devices, no things you put in your ear, just learning how to bring the authentic you out, the you when you're by yourself in your room or talking to a dog, how to bring that out into interactions and feel comfortable and feel like you belong and bring the effortless speech out. So I'm gonna sh tell you right now the five principles. Just quickly before I get to step one, I just wanna show you here, my inspiration, my client that sent me this message saying that that, eff that effortless speech, right? Talking about it. And that's when it inspired me to make this video because just that word effortless is so powerful. And when he sent that to me, it brought me back to my years of <clears throat> not effortless, like pure struggle to speak and what that transition felt like, what he was feeling right there is indescribable. And I don't want to hide that from anyone. So I'm going to give you the five steps that he followed so that you can follow them as well. All right. The first step is intention. Your intentions are fucking massive. What's your intention when you're trying to talk by yourself? When you're talking by yourself? Are you trying to prove that you're cool? Are you trying to prove that you have value? No, you're just fucking talking out loud. Your intentions are just present right now, are just speaking. That's your full intention. When you are talking to your dog, what's your intention? Is your intention to try to impress this dog? Is it trying to show that you're cool to this dog? Is it trying to show you have value to this dog? No. You're just there with the dog, loving the dog. What's your intention when you talk to someone that you think is cool in at, at your work? You're going to try to impress them. You're going to try to prove to them. You're going to try to show that you're fucking perfect and you don't stutter. And you're going to try to pretend you're this person that you're not. And that's what... That, that's what being inauthentic is. That's why being authentic is the goal. Because authentic you is the free you, the loose you, the one that's not trying to prove anything. So take a look at your intentions. Any intention you have in the interaction that is coming from trying to get external stimuli, external validation to patch yourself up, try to prove you don't stutter, try to prove you're cool, that's going to make you stutter so much more. The second thing is permission. Permission. Give yourself permission. I guarantee you, if you look back to the last situation you stuttered your face off in, you did not grant yourself permission to stutter. And because you did not grant yourself permission to stutter, you were doing everything in your physical capabilities and mental capabilities to resist that stuttering. But is the stutter itself that bad? No, it's just your mental fixation on trying not to stutter is what's making it so bad. I have a story about this is about two weeks ago, I was coaching a client who was on week three or four and he just could not get a word out. He was stuck on this word. He tried everything for about two minutes. She tried circling back. He, he tried just pushing through it. And I just watched there. I just watched him try. 
eventually I, I, I told him, hey man, there is no fucking way you're going to get this award out. There is no way. It's impossible. It's impossible to get this award out. I guarantee fucking to you. All right. I guarantee you, you cannot get this award out. What I want you to do is I want you to pay attention to your emotions inside of you. That's what I want you to do. I want you to pay attention to how you feel when you get caught in this block. And that's all I want you to do. Just practice feeling those emotions. And guess what? This, this wasn't the plan, but as soon as I said that to him, the next, the actual next sentence, he said it perfectly fluently. And fluency is not the goal, but that just shows what happens when you are granted permission to stutter. I, I, I said you have to stutter. You, you cannot avoid stuttering. He had full permission to stutter. 100% full permission to stutter and his, in, his intentions also changed those combining those two and once he had full permission that I didn't even have to give to him I did but he could have gave that to himself there's no rules telling him not to you can give permission to yourself and once you do effortless speech will be a much more present in your life talking talking about present number three the the third step to effortless speech is presence. And I don't want you just to skim over this because it's a mainstream word in the self-development community, but presence is literally, you cannot have effortless speech if you're not present in this moment. If you're thinking about your thoughts, if you're thinking about your words that you want to say, what words you can avoid, what words you can say, what you can do to impress, what you can do to prove you're in your head, you are not present in this moment right now. You cannot connect with this person right now. And because you cannot connect with this person right now, you will not feel like a, that true sense of belonging. That true, relaxed sense of belonging because you're not in connection with this person. You're in your head and they're like, what the fuck is happening right now? This conversation sucks. Because you're in your head and you're, you're deflating your personality, you're hiding your true self, and you're speaking this fakeness that the defense mechanism you is trying to, like, oh, you, you, you don't stutter, your stutter's not that bad, you're not that weird, like, here you go, here's a few words that you won't stutter on, which ultimately causes so much pain because you're hiding your true self, which will make you stutter more. So being present, learning that art of presence, of presence is a skill you have to master. The fourth step is being outcome independent, all right? If you're outcome dependent and you're dependent on getting a certain outcome, let's say talk to this coworker and not stutter, that means that you your whole job when you're in this interaction is to find words and to do things in order to not stutter. And when you're doing things to not stutter, guess what? You're not being present. Your intentions are fucked. And you're just going to be so fixated on getting this outcome that the whole interaction will be fucked up, like discharging you from your authentic self and putting you against the fake personality that you don't want to be, all because you are outcome dependent. If you walked in and you said, I'm, I'm just proud of myself if I go and talk to this person. That's what's in my control. The outcome is not. Your stutter is not in your control right now as we stand. But you taking this action is in your control. And if you do, you fucking win. And when you start to judge yourself based on your actions and you fuel yourself from the inside based off things you can't control, which are your actions, that's when your brain starts to realize that, oh my God, I don't need to avoid anymore. I don't need to get a good reaction anymore. I don't need to be liked. I don't need like that desire to be seen as a cool person. Once you just go in for the action and you, you, you say that's all that matters if I take the action, now the outcome is out the door and you already feel good because you took the action, now you can be present in this moment. 
So make sure, make, make, make sure you remove that outcome de dependency needing a specific outcome. <sighs> That'll make things a lot, a lot easier for you. And the fifth thing is the tide that rises all ships. Without this, nothing would work. And with this, everything works, all right? And what the fifth thing is, is self-esteem. You must have self-esteem in order to have effortless speech. If you constantly have yourself down here and you have everyone else up here because your self-esteem is low, you're going to talk up to them, you're gonna think everyone has it better than you, you're gonna feel inferior to everyone and what happens when you do that is you're gonna try to prove, you're gonna try to please, your intentions are gonna be fucked, you will not give yourself permission to, to stutter, you, of course, will not be present because you're in your head thinking of how you can prove, please pre pretend and perfect your, yourself. And the fourth thing is that you, of course, will be outcome dependent because you need certain outcomes to feel good about yourself. If your self-esteem is not high and you do not have that self-love, by default. If you have to get something for you to feel good, get fluent speech for you to feel good, that's a never ending cycle of downward spiral, beating yourself up because that's gonna put you in your head, cause you to stutter more, and just repeat the cycle and cycle and cycle. But once you learn how to grow your self-esteem, once you learn how to have your self-esteem, um, like your self-esteem will be fluctuated by your own actions. Whether you take actions or not, that's the healthiest way. I don't care if you say I should always have high self-esteem. I truly be I truly believe that if I'm not taking actions, if if I'm not learning and growing and pushing my pushing myself a little bit every day, then I deserve to for my self-esteem to drop. And because I feel that way, that allows my self-esteem to rise every time I do take actions. I don't give a fuck about the outcome but it's actually taking the action is what fuels me and what grows that self-esteem and says I am worth it. And once you have these five components, I guarantee you your speech will be effortless. Even if you stutter, your speech will be effortless because you're not fixating on the stutter. You're, you're not stressing out because you stutter. It will just be flowy. You'll just stutter yo yo and you'll continue with your work and what what whatever you're doing is flowy because it's effortless doesn't matter if you stutter or not all right but i guarantee you i guarantee you you will stutter significantly less if if you start to have more effortless speech that's just the way it works and if you're looking to implement these five steps not just by yourself and kind of trial and error and trying this and trying that and looking up that YouTube video but does that connect to this one like these these thoughts are contradicting my mind like I was there for so many years I wish I had someone like me like I said at the beginning of the video I help people overcome stuttering the authentic way I help people grow their self-esteem I help people give themselves per permission to stutter I help people like do all the five steps that I said and that's that's just one part of the program that's not even finding who you are finding your true authenticity finding your true personality like there's so much that goes in into overcoming your stutter so much understanding about yourself that you need to develop so much more awareness that you need to grow so much more just being in tune with yourself to find out what authentic means to you and how you can start living that. And once you start living that, guess what? Your self-esteem grows, everything else else grows, and you begin to fucking overcome your stutter the authentic way, the same way I did, the same way my clients are doing. So if that is interesting to you and you want to implement these five steps right fucking now, then look at the closest link down below in my in my description and I I I have a free one-on-one -on -one consultation call 
you can have with me, not my assistant, not the dog from the park, with me. 100% me, we will talk about your situation, where you feel stuck and what you want to do, what, what goals you want to achieve with your speech, and we'll see if we will be able to collaborate together to make that work, all right? If that's interesting to you, again, link down below closest link in the description and you can book your free one-on-one -on -one consultation call all right those are the five steps you need to develop in order to have effortless speech and once you do I guarantee you your speech will be effortless it doesn't matter if you're talking to a group it doesn't matter if you're talking to your boss it doesn't matter if you're talking to your brother all right effortless and that's the space you want to get to because that's your authentic default all right I love you Take care. Make twenty make twenty twenty one your bitch. Alright. Peace out.